And for the rest of us, let's keep rolling. So, Yamamalia. Uh, welcome to Whale One Country. Um, big, 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 AK Whale. A lot of names people call me. But, um, yep. Yeah, First Nations creator. And today we're working towards federating Australia under an egalitarian and multicultural regime. So it's 1850, but we already have politics and laws in place, uh, such as public schools. Uh, still with protectionism, but multiculturalism as we move towards using the really intuitively and intelligently designed system here of um, of basically tutorials that adapt based on the objective you want to set for the nation. Really smart, really great. So law-wise, we want to pass protected speech. Most importantly, though, we need to work on the intelligentsia. Like, we can't get liberal laws together unless we, you know, get them in the government. But for whatever reason, okay, intelligence here and rural folk, sure. Um, cannot be promoted to power while angry. What if we have intelligence here and industrialists? That's slightly better good and I think both kind of service because we don't want to fall in the same trap I did for the playthrough initially um, where we yeah but that's gonna create 12 and a half K 46 percent what that's the size Right, thanks for a full government. This is just the government we have. We're pushing towards colonial resettlement. Our objective today in this session, um, last session I'll probably be recording tonight, but I'll be continuing to go on and these will be up on the YouTube channel um, at regular intervals, um, along with my uh, Star Empire of Numenor, or Lord of Rings in Space, our playthrough of Stellaris, which is getting interesting. Okay, revolution is dissipating slowly. Re colonial resettlement we just got a boost to in our last uh, debate gold mines are about to crack and then we start on sugar plantations just to keep out those exports um, that we need yep lovely I'm not sure the economic benefit of going towards the laissez-faire economy because um, where I'm just I don't understand the economy or where I derive my money from. Uh, good on you, good old makers preservers. One of our chatters has pointed out that actually I need to be in debt is probably the way to run it. Uh, last time I got into debt, it, it started getting very nasty at me. Uh, so I'm a little bit scared and I'm trying to keep the green, the green to go in the gold. But since we are a minor power, we're 19th in the world, we have declared our interest in Papua New Guinea. But there are no diplomatic plays, really, or actions that we can take. Although, I'm back up to a lovely dollar amount. We might actually look at bankrolling uh, some of the southern, more southern islands. Dutch East Indies, we can't. Okay, form Liberal Party. Alright, that's... That's going to be interesting to see who's part of it. Hopefully, that's the intelligence here. It would make sense. They are all liberal like that. Uh, East Timor. Oh, sorry. That's um, that's actually part of Indonesia. Uh, Papua New Guinea. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm talking. I mean, bit. So, we don't want to bankroll the Dutch East Indies. That's not going to help us. But we might want to bankroll them. We could even... Yeah, that's, that's going to be swapped with... <laughs> that's going to be swapped between Spain and America at some point in the future. Or maybe not. Great part about playing these games. Yeah. Tidor. 190 ducats. Yeah. And while we're at it... Uh, oh no, I'm already improving relations. So yeah, let's bankroll you. And maybe whatever effect is happening here that made me just blob uh, will potentially fan out. Um, and PNG, I assume, is going to be a state in Papua. Yeah. Yeah, decentralized power. So, Papua is another state that we potentially 
great hydraulic cranes uh, potentially will get out to once we do clone area settlement it looks like we're in a diplomatic play in indonesia oh oh this is important who's your target land fung okay so is that Sulawesi? i think that's Sulawesi. i know the batak and uh, is up here but anyway do not remember southern java sundanese anyway it looks like chi um our noble leaders along with the netherlands um are interested in land fang they want to puppet it and they want to conquer Asser. okay they want to conquer here all right so they're starting to play their bit this is now we're getting freaking interesting because they're playing their diplomatic games here but now that we have become a minor power we also got to think about okay how do we want to shape how do we want to mold the lives of a whole bunch of indigenous indonesians that probably just want to be left alone bad luck big vix coming uh so clearly i'm automatically allied there and there's really nothing I can do about it. Do I contribute? Oh, hang on. Um, revolution at 98%. Okay, maybe... Uh, crusade for change. Oh, this probably isn't going to end well. I was plugging this as the... Uh, let's do the Federation, but it's uh, not happening. Ongoing effort to implement Kimono or a settlement has captured the limitation of the Conservative Party, which has added full-throated support for the new law as part of its central platform. Okay, Conservatives, cool. Uh, extra momentum for them. The people speak. Yep, that let the people speak. I think the people are about to speak in a really big, bad, nasty way. Radicalism is extreme. Oh, okay, this is a new situation. I don't have the authority to suppress you. I don't think suppressing you is going to help you. <laughs> what happens when a revolution happens? Victoria and the North Island and Queensland are going to secede. Oh, great. Well... Like I said, this is a live and learn playthrough. Yeah, crap. Please don't revolt. Oh, why? Of course. Look at the government. I can't put you in the government, can I? Because you're angry. Like you could have been angry. It's going to add 59 radicals. Will that make people happier? 59 radicals if we... If we put you conservatives. 80% legitimacy. Is that enough to calm you down? you got your churchy people. I know you want migration controls. But... It's not not how I wanted to play. Bali siding with lung. F oh my god, everyone's siding. Yeah, so of course. Oh, France and Bali. Ooh, actually. Can't do diplomatic plays, but we can improve relations now with France and Spain. You know, friends, friends of our gentle leaders. Right. I think we're going to crack a revolution. I don't think that government change potentially got it through in time. I, yep. Okay, here we go. Uh, my first experiment with a revolution. Armies. Activate conscription centers. 
Recruit general. Um, all right. Land owners or armed forces. Kind of want to go to the armed forces. Government adds to the government interest groups. Morale, open terrain. Open terrain command is kind of good. Supply is good. He's also abandoned. Oh, so they're both going to have that. That's arrogant. Let's go with the open terrain commander. I don't know what it means. Is this a war? It is a war. Uh, diplomatic play. Okay, so the revolutionary New South Wales. Great Britain, what's going on? Show me my diplomatic lens. Alright, so there's a diplomatic play in Australia with Queensland. Ah, so that's revolutionary New South Wales against the British Empire. Okay, well, in that case, yay Britain. I love the um, I love that they've gone with the Eureka Stockade flag. Like it's, I think it's the a sort of pseudo Eureka Stockade flag. Which um, when did that happen? When the Eureka Stockade happened? Uh, third of December. 19, 18, 13, 19, 13. Anyway, we're going to see who's going to support me. Big, big pupper England. So could it be that one of the first workers' revolutions in this alternative universe has occurred here? In what was meant to be egalitarian Australia, but currently, currently has to accept the conservative government for now. Okay, seven out of eight. So we're ready to mobilize. Allies are traveling. Okay, so that's the Tasmanian front. Okay, these are the fronts. Okay. Leo, we've gone to war, but we've enacted colonial resettlement. Um, are you uh, also revolutionary New South Wales? And I'm going to start colonizing down here anyway. Uh, North Island. Okay, colonize the South Island, which half of Britain already has. I might actually just send for now. No, let's. Okay, that's fine. I don't care. You fight in China. I've got more war important things. Um, yeah. So let's start colonizing there. We've got war breaking out. The Ivory Coast Front. That's nothing to do with my... No, because we're not at war yet, are we? We are still in the diplomatic play. France probably won't. We'll see. Yeah, so this is the first time a war has occurred on my... Front civil war. Well, I can't choose. I don't think I can pick which side. I think it's already picked for me. Death to all of them. Thank you, Maker Preservus. And yes, may the Maker Preservus. Yep, we're supporting Great Britain. Uh, they are they're a little bit busy, you know, racing for that Africa. But with any luck. The sort of forces that are already here. Like, do I have to assign that to a front? Hmm, mobilize. There we go. We're going in the debt. Standing by. Oceano HQ standing by. Goldfields depleted. Ah, uh, Tasmania. Yeah. Uh, unfortunate. Less migration. We cannot leave them. Just let them leave. Oh, they're drifting away. Um, yeah, no, we don't need to hold them on. Let them go. Okay. 
Um, Great Britain has 48 more troops traveling. Do I need to do that too? Yeah. Okay. Well, we've mobilized our troops. Okay, the revolutionary... The war with revolutionary New South Wales. Tell them to advance. That's what I need to do. Let's all work out. But ladies and gentlemen, the war with revolutionary New South Wales. We've been trying hard this time to bring us through in an egalitarian way, maintaining the budget. Uh, but to no avail. We just pushed them too far. And we they desperately wanted migration controls. They were so angry about all these people coming to their country. Their claimed country. So they have their 12 powerful, proud revolutionaries on the Eureka Stockade standing against us. Now, unfortunately, like we would have liked to see the sort of Eureka breaking free, forming the Republic thing happening. But at the moment, uh, we're unfortunately on the end, receiving end of that. So we have a lot of troops, two arms. I'm going to keep it paused and we're going to... Get our troops to advance. Somehow. Right, and how do we advance our troops? Stand by. Order to leave the front and move back to the Ocean RQ. No. Advance front. Ah. Advancing on Victoria. Okay, are you now? Yes. Yep, great. Thank you again, Mega Preservus. This is great. I am learning so much. Oh, look at all this devastation. Not, not Bendigo. Oh, yep. Yeah. Cool. Love it. Sort of pseudo your, uh... Yeah. See, unfortunately, you're crumbling, Victoria. Yep. Yeah. Yep. The first revolutionary war fought by the labor unions to block migrants that they didn't like. Oh, free government reform during a revolution. Uh, yeah, hey. Hey, conservative party. party. Hey. Nice legitimacy you got there. Let's get some liberals. Uh. Oh, it's already going to go down anyway. 52%. No radicalization. Liberal party is back in control. Ed and Cathcart at the helm. Do I want to put... No, that's going to reduce it. Petty Bourge. No. Okay, so we're going to confirm. Registry in a pure Liberal Party. Get back to the task of filling out these objectives. So they're part of the government. They're being bolstered. Now we've got to wait for them to be powerful. I have enough to suppress political groups I don't think I have to I was doing it for the church and the trade unions well well they done goofed so yeah a revolution against the corrupt rule of Great Britain or rather against the egalitarian principles we're losing power rank yes I know in fact I tentatively Hopefully we'll get it back once this war's over. And you know what? We've unlocked organised sports, so... Ask a lot of my mob in Australian. Just get them to play some sports. That'll fix it. Alright, diplomatic... Oh, hang on. Establishing colonies. I've already started establishing colony down here. And that's going to take a while. I don't want to... I'm just going to focus on the um, islands relevant to the Federation. 
So we're not going to worry about colonies. We have no diplomatic players at this stage, but we do have a whole bunch of bankroll and a whole bunch of improved relations. And a whole bunch of money to spend. Um, the Spanish Philippines. Ooh, wouldn't mind that. 300. Okay. Yogyakarta, Yogyakarta, which is in the middle of Java, I believe. I do. Yogyakarta. We got a whole bunch of people to. I'd love to spend it on Austria. Maybe I should. No, I think we'll save that until we're a bit closer to wanting independence. At the moment, our objective is just we just want to get the Federation of Australia. So let's um. Got to spend our stuff on something. I'm happily in the red, which will keep certain people happy. And I'm told is the right way to work. Expelling diplomats. No. Brunei. I think it's in the process of being invaded. Oh no, it's just there. Yeah. It's um. And uh, Brunei. Yeah, let's um, just 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 generally, just how you doing? Don't mind us. A little bit of a civil war, but yeah. Oh, hang on. It appears the peasant revolt is successfully defending. What's going on? What's going on there? General William Mortlock? Yeah, I think this is lovely. Okay, battles won. Alright, so it's been a bit back and forth. Down here on the front. Pretty sure I've opened up all the construction centres. So, is it all the block hat? No. Um. Conscription center. Okay, we turn the tide on them. On those Victorians, those rebellious Victorians. I know I'm going to lose power rank. We don't have. All right, so we got extra sports. We got Nash. We got sports. We got prestige. That's going to help us mitigate losing our power. But even if we do, once we've reunited, human rights seven years again. We're going for the egalitarian um, missions. But I think when you get to things like protected speech, that's when you go, okay, we've got to do other things before we do that. And really, I wish this happened earlier, but the game took me on a different path. Have we... What happened to us enacting our law? Are we not enacting any laws? Oh, well, I can get back to enacting total separation of the state. Or more importantly, let's enact universal suffrage. So everyone in our country gets the vote. Political strength, legitimacy. All right. Let's give everyone the vote. In the 1850s, during the Australian Civil War. Oh, okay. So the intelligentsia just became powerful. We've just completed one of our tasks. Oh, we can go find the source of the Nile. Anyway, so Federated Australia whaling industry. Okay, so I can get into whaling. Maybe not. Don't know. Federating Australia, which unfortunately has become oh dialectics. Laying philosophical concepts on material conditions produce as may create novel concept and perhaps new political ideas. Yes. 
Hegelian material dialectics leading towards the Red Menace. Okay, moving on to production. I think, well, actually, we want to probably start looking at some military stuff. Considering 7 to 13 month for triage. Yeah, okay, let's get triage. It's already got some research towards it. And Australia's involved in a defining conflict for for its nation. It's pretty intense. Yeah. So George Hissock is advancing. Oh, no, they've they they're pushing back. Hey Britain. Hey Britain. Where are you, Britain? We appear to be losing. Uh, yeah. Go to sleep, brother. Thanks for coming in, Maker Preservers. Thanks for the follow. Feel free to drop in any time. Have a yarn. Um, okay. Croatians are coming to WA. I don't have enough military, and I expected to have military. Realize that's something I needed. Uh, let's get away from the list. Barracks. Will. Increase trading rate. Extra battalions. Alright. We'll expand the barracks here. That might be a little bit too late. However, who else is in... You know, the... See? Who else is in the revolutionary country? Get definition, get name versus Great Britain. Like there's 200, there's 161 battalions. Well, I can't make peace. All right, so we're just going to have to see when is it that um. That our law overlords are going to come. Okay. Okay. Who was Britain fighting against at the same time? France has aligned with Lanfang. Lanfang, I say. And Bali against our British allies. So you should be coming down here anyway. You're, getting, you're invading Bali, brother. Let's just keep rolling. See what we do. I think, to be honest, even if this goes to heck, um, I might see if I can load an earlier save. If not, we'll just um, we'll just start again with everything I've learned. Do a rebuild. Okay, so France has capitulated. That's one out. Let's. I'm not overly happy. Okay, that's fine. the f The front is holding. The rebels have been up. Like, this is, you, you know... So, if you don't know Australian history, it's a big thing that, you know, I think it's been conflated and twisted around by whoever it happens to be doing the telling, including at the time. Um, but there was a thing called the Ukraine, Eureka Stockade, where we, uh, where a group of um, miners in Victoria, up at... Um, oh, I forget where it was. Um, oh, cool, they're trying to... Oh, I see, we're trying to um, encircle. We have a lot of troops and allies. But they are creeping ever closer. I'm a little bit worried. Um, but yeah, so it was um, Beacon Hill, near where Ned Kelly lived. Um, and they decided to have a bit of a. Uh, yeah. Try to lead us toward, lead a sort of, you know, independent Victoria, independent colony back in the day. Would have been around there. I think it was 1813. Anyway. There are people much better at history than me. I'm just enjoying an alternative history. Okay. Okay. The result's over. Wait. The colonies of Australia have been consolidated into a single government under the direction of New South Wales. The Queen of Great Britain has formally congratulated the Australian people. Today marks the beginning of an Australian nation. The land down under was a great challenge for its first settlers, 
Rather with ferocious flora and fauna, malevolent and hostile, but through ingenuity, determination and faith, we have tamed this rugged land. Advance Australia Fair. I, I've been a long time since I felt good about that. Boom. And... Are we... Does it just... Is, is that it? Is it going to change to Australia? Or is it still just the colony? Um, yep, universal suffrage. That's, once that gets through, it's probably going to be where we're going to cap off this evening. Oh. Huh. We can add to colonial growth and education at the cost of... Okay. At the cost of bureaucracy. But let's upgrade that. Um... How do we demobilize? Military. Uh, retire. I don't need to retire him. I just wanted you to um, stand down. I suppose there's still a military. I suppose you could go and bravely advance on no front whatsoever. Uh, how do we stand down our military? Let's have a look. Army. Oh, here we are. Advance front, defend front. Okay, this is more handy. I imagine we'll demobilize after the, um... After this other conflict of Britain's with line firing is over. Do you deserve a promotion? No, nah, not at the cost of my limited bureaucracy. Uh, who's your interest group? I assume it's going to be um, armed forces. Yep. I would like to demobilize you, please. Hmm. Oh, nice little history. Interesting. All right, well, let's just keep it running halfway through this little episode that we're doing uh, before I put it up. He's hated. That's fine. Hang on. We have interests that are disappearing. Indonesia. Ah, okay. That's interesting. We're back to an insignificant power. We don't want to release... No, I don't want to release New Zealand. I want to know why we haven't federated. Or why it doesn't come up with a lovely big word that says Australia. Uh, we're getting there. Universal, okay, so once we get universal suffrage, we'll have that. We're not at peace, though. I think we've got to wait for this conflict to fix up. Or I'm missing the demobilize button. A lot of improved relations are being broken at the moment. Ah, of course not, because we've dropped in our national rank. Oop. Grassroots support for law. The political wills and desires of the lower classes would always remain an opaque matter. For whatever reason, support for universal suffrage has spread like wildfire across New South Wales, spurred on by charismatic speakers and lively debates in small-time social clubs. And back in what now? Well, who are we to complain? While well, this support was never a prerequisite for success, sure does not hurt to have it either. Let's expedite it. Let's... Bring that up to 44%. Uh, intelligentsia gets the traction. Or I could get more loyalists. So I could settle things down in Victoria. Because 
I imagine Victoria's population might still be probably a little bit cranky. But let's uh, let's expedite universal suffrage because I feel like that that naturally lends itself to you know bringing people into intelligentsia. Does anyone want to split away yet? No. Sooner or later, sometimes people want to split away and they want to join up to parties uh, as they become more aligned. I imagine. But we've got liberals. Yes, I know. I can't. No. Unpin. Okay. Right. Oh. Yes, first aid. First aid. First aid. about that too much. It's a little bit annoying. I'd like to not have him mobilised. I've got no available fronts to defend. He's got no fronts he can advance on because I've got no... Well, I need just build a port, which reminds me I'm building nothing. And let's have a look at the technology tree. Yeah, we're heading towards so protected speech is the big one that we're heading towards for that we need human rights and uh, I'm just not going to spend six years on it I'm going to wait till it gets a little bit closer postage cash reserves yes I'm thinking cash reserves or railways railways and we're going to start building some mines is there anything here yep let's just knock that out of the way Oh, we don't have to, do we? It's going to get knocked out of the way anyway. Uh, food industries. 35 months. 35. Everything's 35. So let's... Um, let's just go railways. It's important technology. New South Wales state. South Island is isolated. Going on down here. Yep, we knew that was coming. Huh. How do we do mobilize it? Well, effectively, we've done what we need to do, we just don't have the name yet of Australia, but. Mission accomplished. We have managed to federate Australia. Uh, we've passed through a lot of egalitarian laws and we also managed to survive a civil war when Victoria and Queensland revolted against the United, soon to be federated Australian. Now there's a lot of support over here. They want to go back to legal guardianship, which is effectively uh, you like your uh, handmaid's tale. Women are legally under the guardianship. Men enjoy very few rights. We're actually evoking universal suffrage. Um, well, so they're going to fight against that. So the church, landowners, and industrialists um, fight against universal suffrage for different reasons, though. Um, they want wealth voting, but legal. They, the, those who are at the extreme of the end will fight back harder. But just the um, intelligentsia is quite strong at the moment. Uh, I have some extra resources, so let's... Um, I cannot suppress. I cannot bolster. I imagine it's because... It says free speech laws, it's because we have censorship. Um, so bolstering really hits hard. Suppression doesn't work so hard plus one authority so let's go back to our old plan of just on oh no, a bolstering keeping them all right here's our commander window can I yeah there's only promote don't need to promote him because I don't have enough troops anyway well it's been an exciting ride 
exciting ride. Humble, humble beginnings. Trying to wrangle the intelligentsia in the power, but to no avail. To the point of having to put the party in charge that's the most antithetical to the sort of egalitarian egalitarian rise. But you had to do it. Made some bad, hard decisions. Had to do an censorship just to get some, through some things which we'll claw back hopefully moving forward and we formally we formally this government is yeah we formally made we federated Australia so you know that's something we did but it hasn't gone to a lovely colour and with a nice big name on it. And that's what we ask for. That's the simple thing we ask for out of these Paradox games. Alright, coming up on a click. Universal Suffrage has got close to half. We don't have any construction going. Let us see what we want to expand. We've got a port now. Food industry tooling. Uh, chemical plants, glassworks. Uh, producers, glassworks might be an idea, shipyards might be an idea as well, it would be good to be producing ships, I think they will, um, and they will provide, let's have a look at our shipyards then, right, so 0.41, uh, I also think I, f I really feel like I should probably build a port over on the island, Oh, you've already got one port, so you're not you're not totally stuck. South Island, can't do anything about you. You're under Great Britain, but here, let us let us see what we want to add. Do we want to build a shipyard? Arts Academy, University. What's some of the? Let's just double check some of the journal. Because uh, I know Central Archives. Any New South Wales Welsh building is government administration, and it's level is greater than or equal to 10 we are nowhere near that I think our government building our government building is like level 1 yeah and that's in Victoria do I want to expand it oh clergy no secular <laughs> Yep, secular government administration. Let us, steel mill, we'll need to get coal and iron. Okay, that's what we need to do. Right here, right now. Let's, let's dig for coal. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Australia. WA is where the coal mines are. Let's get both coal mines built. And here we are in debt. From the production and probably the fact that I can't demobilize my troops. Can I please just get out of it? Can you? Uh, just hurry up and win. Okay. So we've got our buildings coming out, coal mines uh, being churned into WA. Uh, New South Wales now will also expand what we're looking for uh, our industry so we have coal what is that going to enable us to build steelworks requires coal and iron huh. steel mill Yo, oh, crime anywhere do we put it wherever it makes us money and the productivity um, well, the coal mines are over there, so let's put, you know, there's trade routes up there. Let's put our steel mill on WA. Let's then, okay, so we've got, that was the steel mill, yeah, we're building. Steel mill, great, we're building the steel mill. Which means the other thing we want to do is rural and we want an iron mine. 
Um, where's the Queensland, New South Wales, North Island, Tasmania? I'm feeling like New South Wales. We might as well put it all in WA. Yep. Okay. So WA is becoming, in this case, a bit of an industrial centre. More than I think, majorly agricultural. Majorly agriculturally, it was until. I mean, Gina's dad came along and went flying in his little plane. Okay, so we're in debt. Our gold reserves are what we need to watch. We may want to just increase that taxation level just a little bit. And maybe just decrease the wages down one just to minimize the rate at which we're going bankrupt but I've been told oh my god they'll they will go for everything finish the war we now have universal suffrage in the year of 1853 in the newly federated New South Wales colonies, soon to be known as Australia, just after the workers' rev attempted revolution, the Eureka Stockade and the uprising of Victoria, Queensland and the North Island of New Zealand, aka Aotearoa, we have universal suffrage. Everyone is voting. Men, women, children, black, white and brindle. Everyone's voting. Now, all that's left is for me to work out how I'm going to, whether or not I can mobilize that person or demobilize that person. Looking at what laws we want to enact, uh, protected speech is something for us. We've got a long way to go there because I did go step back and take the censorship option, which we could immediately try to call back again, uh, which would get some opposition, but right of assembly will return. It'll increase our authority. And our capacity, we're still running out of money. I feel like a lot of it's uh, potentially military out there. We've just boosted it up. But I've got a lot of room this time I can move by this stage. So by this stage in the early playthrough, test playthrough, Van Diemen's Land had taken over everything and I was broke but egalitarian. So I guess it was lovely. But we couldn't afford anything. Yeah, over here we are. So, that's been a lot of fun, great playthrough. Um, so we just locked up four sessions that uh, you, if you're seeing it on YouTube, you'll be seeing and listening to the last one. Um, so I'll probably come back in the next couple of weeks um, to add maybe three or four more as time presents itself, makes itself available. And to all the mob that uh, raided us, uh, sorry my alarm didn't go off, but thanks for joining us. Uh, thanks Worcester for coming on over. Hope you all had a good time listening to me trying to make make a socialist utopia out of Australia and we'll continue so if you enjoyed it follow along um, check us out uh, next uh, next big session I'll be recording will probably be uh, my Numenorean Star Empire my Stellaris game that's been was inspired by um, the Lord of the Rings prequels and what happens if the Numenors get into space cool all right, this has been fun. It's been great to have the time to hang out with you all. Thank you for joining us on Wild well One Country. Great to have some chats. And I will see you all when I'm looking at you. All right, I'm going to do. See you all.